Yes, yes. Welcome back to the Extra Gravy Show. I'm Marlon, and I'm joined by a legend, comedian, Jeez. influencer, creator, stand-up comedian, Whoa. touring global, Mad. Mr. White Yardy. How you doing, respect, brother? Respect, brother. Respect. I like that intro there. No. <laughs> you think me they are legend, yeah, hey. but yeah, hey, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel like in terms of Jamaican creators, mm -hmm. you're... Definitely in the thread of respect, man. I appreciate the history, it, man. man. Like you are one appreciate of the first. Like there's a there's a select few yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaican creators that really break above yeah. and make it into the mainstream. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and I get it, yeah, man. It's difficult for us because Quacks. especially people try to act like Pat was some <laughs> crazy, oh I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So we have to navigate that. Is that has that been difficult? Um Definitely, you, you know how the thing go. Like we, it's like I think over years I've learned more how to adapt, even doing interviews mm. and and stuff like that. And I think that's a very key. It's like as much as part of me don't want to have to change, and I'm thinking, yo, you should just get with it. Exactly. But then you you kind of eliminate yourself mm -hmm. from a wider audience. Yeah. And that's that's weird now. So like even sometimes and, and I know what Jamaicans get it. Yeah. Like cause I always use UCM Bolt as a re reference. Yeah. If, if you listen to UCM Bolt's interviews when he's away from Jamaica, you think that guy come from America. Code like switching. Straight up. You yeah. understand? And we just have to do that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's unfair that we have to do it Very when much. nobody else not do it. Very much. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Like but we we do it because we know we we have a message and sometimes we want to make sure everybody can understand us exactly. in a way. So as much as I hate doing it because sometimes people might people who don't understand Jamaican culture or, or even the Caribbean don't understand Caribbean culture in general, mm. they might be like, but it don't sound like a proper yeah. Thing. But because if it sound like it, you'll be like, I cannot understand. You know, so you know what I mean. Know, the other problem is too yeah. though, Jamaicans on social media, some yeah. of them will try and, and check your card. Oh yeah, yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen to this guy. He, that's yeah, not Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's not Patois. Like, but, but you have to understand, like, especially ones who live don't live in Jamaica and mm. you live abroad, like, i.e., Canada, America, England. It's like we are in the entertainment industry mm. and we don't want to segregate ourselves, so we're only just doing, like, the Jamaican crowds or the Caribbean crowds. Yeah. We want to be able to open up to other platforms because exactly. they all, the world's big. So I want every likes, every 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 race yeah. to be able to enjoy my comedy. Exactly. And again, like music as well. When you think of like the African um what's it called? Like the African um singers and that. Yeah. Like Burner Boy and them. They, they they're not yeah. coming out and speaking in Europe or, or are they they're coming out and they're speaking so you can understand them. So you hear them. Yeah. Come on, brother. So. But that's one of the things I love about UK mm. in terms of their media is the unapologetic, like this is for us. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I remember yeah. the first time I saw Kidulthood and I was I'm watching it the first 15 minutes. I'm like, hold on, these guys have the same slang as us? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was confused. Like no one had ever told me I'm here on TN Crumpets and God save the Queen. That's what I'm thinking England yeah, is my yeah, whole yeah. life. No, a lot because of, of the media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not knowing that there's an entire black British culture over yeah, there, man. Jamaican culture, African culture, like I had no, it blew my mind. So then when I heard that now, and I'm watching the movie, and the more I'm watching the movie, I'm like, yo, they're just using slang. Just yeah, they don't but, but care if have, you understand check, it. But, no, but what you, have, what you have to check, you know, is is that I guarantee, like, like everywhere in the world, or even like let's talk about the major places like England, yeah. Canada, and America. Like, there is black culture there, but there's different type of black cultures. Exactly. So like. You have the black British culture, you have black Canadian culture, black Jamaican, black yeah, but 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 it's also yeah, black Jamaican, black African. It's all yeah different culture. It's not black culture is not just one culture. Mm -hmm. There's different parts. So like black British culture, as I have explained many times, like it's influenced by Caribbean culture as well mm -hmm. and African culture, yep. and it's all in one. And most of the 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 um the the people who are in the black British culture. Or even probably with the Canadian culture, they are from descendants, descendants from, from Caribbean and Africa. Yeah. So that's why. So it's not, but but they still have the the, the influence of Canada and England exactly. into it as well. So you will still find out that they have those traits yeah. in there as well. So it's a mixture of it. So yeah, you will find out that here because when we say Wagwan, you guys say them thing there, mm -hmm. but that's a Jamaican thing. Exactly. Fam, you guys say fam, they say fam over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's very much very similar. It's just 
with different, maybe a different accent to it. Yeah. That's all it is. Definitely. And, yeah. and like, people need to understand the difference between ethnicity and race. Oh, fucks. It's, it's, it's beating their ass. <laughs> it is beating stupid. their ass, bro. Yeah. It's, it's a crazy thing to conflate the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you talk about Jamaica. Like, mm. the slogan is right there. Brother, like... It's right there. Yeah. Out of many one people. I didn't want to get to this so early, yeah, but we yeah. have to get to it. Yeah, well, we can't talk we about it. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened on that ZZ Mill show? Bro. What was that? What, like, okay, from I'll tell, show you how we took it. Yeah, yeah. As Toronto people were watching it, and we've seen, like, some ignorant comments from... Like, I'm going to say UK individuals. Because yeah, I'm yeah. not going to say it's the UK no, no, no. things like that. That's, which is correct. Yeah. Certain individuals, which obviously if it's ignorant comments, you know how social media likes to pump, pump, yeah, pump yeah, that yeah, up yeah. and amplify it. Yeah, yeah. So we're seeing that and people are going to think it's everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. And you see some ignorant comments about, oh, Toronto takes this from uh, takes this from the UK. Um, they, it's constant disrespect of Jamaica and Africa. Yeah. Especially Nigeria, Ghana, yeah, yeah. Jamaica. Like... There's so much disrespect in the the ignorance that comes with thinking you are white, so you can't be Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. And these are people, this is what got me heated. They're younger than you. Yep. Most of them have probably started social media and, and yeah. doing the TV and media thing after you. Facts. Facts. And 100%. they're not even Jamaican. Facts. F bro, everything, every, <laughs> bro, everything like, you just said is, is facts. And that's what it is. It's like... The ignorance is is so big, and it and, and and that's a lack of education as well. But you can educate yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, we have smartphones. You pick them <laughs> up. It helps you. Google, TikTok. If you cannot write, you say something. It finds it. You know what I mean? There's so much information in the world now. I'll get it if it's like back in the day where yeah. we don't have internet. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you don't have access to certain things. You have to read newspapers. I get that. Yeah. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go to a library to get information. Exactly. It's all here. We have access right in, in our palms. So you can get all them things. With, with it, it's like, it's, it don't make sense because it's like, it's just showing you like, you know, like ignorance, how, how, how it's going to cause, it causes segregation as well. Mm -hmm. Because we are evolving as people. The gener like our world is evolving as we go along, go along, go along. Like you know what I mean? Mm. Like you look at America having their first black pr um, prime minister, um, president. Sorry, and they were like, "Yo, oh, then they come out black. Yeah, but is he fully black? Is he? You know, they try yeah, to find yeah. things exactly. like all them stuff. So, you know, England now have their first. But um, they try to discredit you in that. Same yeah, no, way. but that's what I'm trying to say. But they, they, in England now, they have um an Asian guy as the prime minister. Yeah, do you understand? So it's like, yo, they 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 shocked to be seen this, but. We're moving with times, exactly. right? People are 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 are, are like in socializing more mixtures of Everything's different things. So you have to understand, it's like yo, you can have white people from different countries as well. Yeah, just like how you can have black people from different countries. It happens, but some people just don't like to accept it, and I don't know why they don't want to accept it. Because what what happened in that situation? What we're talking about is like, brother, if. If it was did you the feel like it was a setup going in? Yeah, one million percent. One million. Because I'm like, what did they invite him under the guise of? Because I know if he knew it wasn't if it was an interview, this, brother, it wasn't even an interview. Weren't you? This isn't that a panel show where they it's discuss a panel topics? Show. It's a panel show. They meant to throw the topics out. Um, what do you think about black culture? Not what are you? There was nothing. There was nothing. You, you, you. Yeah. It was all your thoughts, your your views, your, your opinions. opinions on these topics. Yeah. I had the whole strip. The the, the script of. The questions that mm -hmm. they were gonna ask, or the topics they were gonna ask. Yeah. At no point they were said, w w "Are you part of it? Are you this? You?" They were gonna ask you questions about yourself. So they made it seem like it was just gonna. I'm be there a to give my view on, okay. because because if you watch, and don't get me wrong, I know how conversations. It looked like go, an interrogation, brother. It, it felt like it, but guess what? You know what? The greatest thing is, I was prepared mm. for anything, and and, and that, that that was an opportunity. It was my first time. On, their, on a TV channel in England after how many years. Wow. Bro, trust me, man. First Jeez. time. And that's the experience that they came with. But you know what? I, I've said this a few times, brother. Sometimes you have to um, don't do what they expect you to do. Because mm -hmm. probably what they expected, they didn't get. Exactly. And maybe if that, uh, I'll be honest, maybe if that, that happened they got it. five years ago, <laughs> six years ago, 
they would have been different. No, it would have been different. They got it, but not the way they wanted it. Yeah, they exactly. Wanted the viral yeah, moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got but it, they but didn't they didn't get it the way they, they wanted it. to. But but then if they really and truly like what I said, if they did that like six years ago, I would have probably reacted totally different. different. Mm. Because I'm not that person who I, I'm different. No, I, I'm more smarter, obviously. I'm more calculated when I'm doing things. You're a vet. You're yeah, that, you understand? So it's like, yo, even the first question that showed at me is, do you feel you're a part of black culture? I corrected that was her. the first question. But I had to, I corrected the question. I was like, I, I don't feel I'm a part of black culture. I feel like I'm a part of, and that is I feel like I'm a part of, I am, I am a part of Jamaican culture. Yeah. So that so you understand what I mean? They it had to correct it because there. no, because what they what they wanted was yeah, I, I do. I'm a part, part of, of black culture. culture. I How? But you're not black. black. Why do you feel that? Yeah. That that was a trigger. So yeah. then already you throw them off. Now mm -hmm. they don't have. They don't. They can't answer that. Mm -hmm. So then they come with the others. Brother, South like, and South. But yeah, they, you're, you're right. They and and they they. I know for a fact they that first episode. That was the highest viewed mm -hmm. episode. Everybody wanted to go see. What it was. And I know afterwards the views weren't great. I know that they, they got their second um second season. Oh, yeah, 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 but I season, but I didn't yeah. I don't care. Like for me, I never put I'm not I didn't put out a, that clip that I posted as well myself. Yeah. But I originally didn't even post it because a part of me is like, you know, I'm not even gonna let me just put the look at smaller clip and just whatever. Say yo, catch me on yeah. here. But there was a, you played a the whole thing there was a so page, well. there was a page that posted that clip. Mm -hmm. And I was getting tagged in it so much. And I was like, all right, let me post this then. And I posted and I captioned it. I said, I'm not here to bring anybody down. Yeah. But my first time on TV and this is how it felt. Yeah. Well, and I looked at that clip as well. Like, you know what? This clip will also help explain to whoever else Educate. hasn't seen it. Yeah. So I, exactly. So I don't have to keep answering this mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I had to, brother, you know, like, I had to even, like, without even talking to my mother, how she might feel about exactly. me exposing art, bringing up stuff like, yo, she had a miscarriage. Exactly. That's the whole purpose of, yeah. I was fortunate that she could fly back to England to give birth with me mm -hmm. because she had a miscarriage before that and all things like that. And I was a cesarean baby. Like, so in Jamaica at the time, yo, you could die for them things exactly. because, you know, we're living in the countryside. We're not even living in Kingston or Mobay where you have a, might have a, a better husband. We're living in the countryside. Yeah. Brother, when, when people dead, them putting you in a, in, a, in a room and stacking you up on top of body. You don't have an individual box mm -hmm. and that you're going on top of bodies, on top of bodies until your people can take you up here if they take you out. Like, be it things like that. So people don't even know that. So I had to, I kind of had to, like, take, like, speak about people's situation. Even if my mother, I had to speak about something that maybe she never kind of put back to, to back her head. Context. But just to make you understand the yeah. seriousness of certain things and make you get it. So, no, yeah, context and people get it now. So that's the whole reason for me to post it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they feel like man, I post it to try to bring them down. I didn't at no point. That, that was me speaking. Who cares? They Honestly, know I get it. Yeah, you get me? No, but, yeah. but even though like you, you have your second episode, cool. You have your second season. I don't care. Yeah. I actually do my business. So you Did don't you need... know any of them before you went on there? Only one person on there I know still. Um, The Yinka. Okay. Like, I know her personally, brother. Okay. Like, when I say personally, like her, it, like it's been going years back. Like her older sister and my wife are, are like good friends like yeah. for years I have like I used to go to that house on Christmas day because their house was like a, a place that our, on Christmas day everybody would finish their family that's and the house where so everybody yeah. goes at uh, Christmas day and everybody have a drink together yeah. loads of people so that's how close like wow. I've seen her and grow she didn't warn you about I, any of this but it's not even that she didn't warn me it's like you should have my back more, in I felt. You get me? Even, like you, yeah. you know me personally that you shouldn't even be in indulging or, or getting involved in when they ask you. Like, you're the host as well. So you, you be like, you know, hey, hey, that's not what we're here for. Let's get into this. So it's like, mm. I get it as well. It's a, it's a great opportunity for you. You're on TV. This is a, you're the main host as well. Yeah. So you're probably just thinking of that, Priorities which is cool. Though, Maybe man. you weren't thinking straight, but it's even the after stuff of everything. Yo, brother, them on, all unfollow me. On socials, yo, the whole of them, like where like you said, you did something to them, brother. Like me, hire the filming crew, me, peer <laughs> them for ask question, me, edit it. Yo, a few you no know, people do it. You, you guys know. gonna trash the video, bro. You, you like, you can say, yeah, don't down. put that out, but they don't even realize that the people that you work for watch that, and edit it, and still put it out. So, know. you coming at me, you need to look at the people who put it out. I'm like, yo, like. What? They knew that there was ratings coming from. Yeah, regardless. like that right now there's even something else that happened. It's like we never even want to talk about it because it's like it doesn't it doesn't like 
I don't want to give them that publicity. But even yeah. now we're speaking about it, they're still getting that little bit of publicity in a way like they, they like relevant. But it's even, even like the, the new season that's come out, yeah, the second season that's come out now, mm. their first show, I, I, I don't watch it. Like, I have no time for it, to be honest. It comes on late at night. It comes on, like, late. I, I, I'm They're tired. They're still trying to work their I, way up in the slot. It's not, it, bro, it's not even that. ZZ's opening line. Mm -hmm. They're sitting there and I'm like, yo, we're back, season two. Yinka says, oh, I can't believe. And this is because somebody's messaged me. I said, yo, somebody's messaged me. I said, bro, did you see the thing? I said, nah, bro, I ain't seen it. He's like, yeah, like, because my one of, one of the comedians over there that I work with, very mm -hmm. close, very close as a friend as well, they um the their um the media team or whatever marketing team has reached out to him to do promotion for it, mm. and I'm just like all of that is a sight because you want to create attention but you cannot come to me for any you know what I mean yeah. we're not gonna work and you know what I mean exactly so you're you're trying to get people the close to me thing. but I'm like it doesn't even matter to me but he messaged me and said yo yeah they kind of mentioned you still I'm like what so I went and just checked it and all it was it was they were saying yeah we're back again season two and then Yinka said yeah I can't believe it. ZZ, like, yeah, I know a lot of people, I bet well, y'all didn't believe it. I'm like, did I try to stop your show? Like, right there, so I'm just like, what, what, what's the issue? Like, why mention my name? But you want to mention my name because you want me to go on my socials. And give you and, promo. And give you promo to get your views back up. But it's not <laughs> happening. Like, even just mentioning it now, it's like, I'm even really want to mention it, but I'm just going to try to show you, like, when we look on him, I say, see all you know? Like, sure. See, but there's like, <laughs> they should know, don't be no for frightening, you know? Because... Mm. There's certain people that move with integrity, that move with a sense of purpose with themselves where they know not to come out. Like, during that entire interview, yeah. I would have came out of myself still. I would have yeah. I would have done something crazy and looked wild yeah. and probably ruined my career in the long yeah, run. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you handled it so well, even afterwards. Yeah. There was no animosity from you online. Bro, there's there was no nothing. Bro. nothing. Bro. And like for them to even still reach back, brother, a whole season. Look how many episodes they probably filmed, brother. Since like they, 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 uh, it's a whole year later, and you the <laughs> first episode you want to mention my name. Um, but it's a shows, compliment. But man. It is a compliment, and yeah. that's why I took it as uh, anyway. I just took it as you know what? It just shows you that like as much as you guys might think whatever you think, I'm on your mind. Yeah. That's uh, like you're, that's you're, weird from ZZ I'm, because I, I felt like she was the only one that somewhat come on bro somewhat come came on, to your bro. defense because she said oh um we're not Jamaican how can we talk to him and tell him exactly what it is exactly that was the only thing she said that only person that said anything really in the room Brother, but you know what it is as well when I look on it as well I looked on it like because obviously when you're doing filming like they do different takes they go back recall okay we're gonna go back to the top quickly we just mm -hmm. need to get some catch up lines here and there I get it like but. Again, I go back to what I'm saying. The people who you're working for chose to leave that edit in again. You understand what I mean? Yeah. There was more, like, the first time I was on there, there was more said. They didn't put half of that in. They, mm. they chose what to put in. So you have to understand the same people who are paying you, be careful. These are the same people that could be looking for your downfall as well. They're vultures. Come on, Let's man. Be very They're real. facts. They will facts. use any moment. I've worked in certain uh, media industries where they don't. There's no humanity, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just clicks. It's just analytics. Yeah, there's yeah. no humanity, no moral code, none of that. Yeah, man. Any way they can get the clicks, that's what they'll do. That's what they want to do, man. I don't have that that gene in me yeah, to yeah, sit yeah. in front of someone's face and try to ruin like they try yeah. to ruin your life yeah no you're a family man brother, you have kids come on man like they try to ruin come your on, life like, on your first time yeah. on and, and as a matter of fact why we say that big up to um Fraser and the TCN um cause I did another TV show um a couple of years um this year it came out um on a panel, another panel show I was on mm. the first one again and you know what big up that show was Much brilliant better. It was a panel show. It's, it's called um, Sorry I Didn't Know. Mm -hmm. But um, it came out. It's, it's, it's always around um, black history as well because yeah. the show is about educating people on black history. Sick. They get panelists on. They get um, panelists on to come as teams, two sets of teams. And you're just there to have fun, really. Yeah. Um, but be educated. But you're you're not there to give the education. The um, Jimmy, the guy who plays... Um, he plays in Bel Air, um, the butler in Bel Air. Oh, sick. Yeah, he's the host. Oh, sick. So he's the one who educates the people. So they will ask you, yo, they will show you a mad picture. 
like from years ago. Yeah. And they, but the picture is like of, of a black person mm -hmm. or something to do around black history. Yeah. So it could be a white person as yeah. well. But they'll show you a picture, but it's always like it's one to kind of throw you off to say, yo, like anyone recognize this is, but your your job is really to be like, yo, that that's Yo, so and so. That's his. Yeah, yeah. And they find it funny Fun, that, yeah, like, yeah. you're just saying, what do you think Fred it Charles, is? Yeah, yeah, but it's not. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then they they would tell you that what it is. So that show was much better dealt with man correctly. Nice. And big up to them, man. And it's a good. I'll be honest, it's a real good show. Canada needs something like that. You know, Toronto. Yeah, we're working could, on infrastructure. Could, yeah, here, they, they could do with one of them type we, of show. We there. could do with a lot. <laughs> we <laughs> could do with a lot. We look at the UK, especially the black uh, UK scene over there, and uh, we're jealous, man. Like, yeah. The collaboration over there, the the working, like even the rappers working together, like yeah. I've seen festivals where Storms will come out and twenty rappers that are big have their own name, yeah. do their own thing, are out there in his promo shirts, yeah, 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 standing yeah, yeah, on stage yeah. promoting for the man, yeah, yeah. and they don't need to do that. No, that man. will never. Yo, you think that would ever happen, Toronto? No, never. Happen. Never in fucking life. Nobody wants to look beg. It's crazy, it. man. It's a crazy culture. I don't know what's going on. But, but, but then that's that's down to because everybody feels they they are as big as the youth and in it. Like everybody feels that they are own stars. Nobody wants but, to be a worker. But you know it is yeah, like that's that like this is something that I have always said, man. It's like, brother, like if you have a team of people working hard all around, not everybody has to be in front of the camera, you know. Not everybody has Not to be first. holding the microphone. Yeah. Bro, like the cameraman, the, the 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 person who's editing, the person who's doing the sound checks or the audio parts, everybody's plays a part in a machine working. Yeah. But don't feel like yo, because You're that's a star. Yeah, I mean, like, and I feel like it's just work, man. And I, 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 I to be honest, like over years I've come in here, I've never really looked at things like this, but I feel like no a bit more experience, been doing this for a while. I think obviously during COVID, had more time to think and stuff like that. I'm looking at things like, yo, it can happen here, man. Yeah. And I feel it's just, just do it. Like I, I was I was having this conversation just before I came in here. And I'm like, just when you say, yo, you guys look at England, bro, check the levels, yeah? Like, why uh, is there not a, a top boy in, in, in Canada if Drake is the one making sure that the top one UK go because you're it needs to happen. You're asking the poor guy, brother. Asking, it's my no, wallet. If it was but, my wallet, but, but the things guess, that would be but, happening in this but, city. But oh guess my. what though? There, there's a there's 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 a hundred camera guys running around in the city. Yeah. yeah but literally. it's also this is the other problem too though, which it's this is something we can't fight, period. Mm. A numbers game. Mm -hmm. UK yeah. dwarfs us in numbers, right? America California alone has mm. more population than all of Canada. Mm -mm -mm. So it's a numbers thing. We don't mm. have enough to sustain us, ourselves to go into a mainstream and stick here. We mm. have to go and get that other look somewhere else. Mm -hmm. There's none of that staying in Canada and you'll flourish and become a... Le like, no. It doesn't work like that. Mm. Unfortunately, because of the numbers game, we have to branch out. But for me... I'm like, why are we branching out to America when UK is literally yeah, our brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, the bridge there will do way more for anything. Because you guys, like I said, you guys have a sustained culture there that can support itself. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to branch out. I don't see ZZ Mills on no, American no, right. TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's staying in the UK and she's doing perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Toronto could get into that market where they don't have to change up their style... Don't have to water anything down, slang, yeah, yeah. nothing. Like, that's part of the reason I want to go out there and do comedy. Because I know I don't have to switch my jokes around yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 you're right. I can right. do my shit as is. If I go to America, I have to tweak this. Yeah, I have to yeah, tweak yeah. that. Change it to fit with what they were used to. Yeah, yeah. But over there, that's the only place I'd move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is London. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I, I would much rather see that bridge built to the UK. And I don't know how it needs to happen. It's been happening over the years. I've seen Skepta and Smoke Dog. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Did tracks together. I've seen um, Unknown T and the Next Man just the other day made a track together. Okay. So it's like, there's a bunch of little connections happening through music, but I think it needs to happen on a broader scale. No, Media, facts. Like, Everything. Every, bro, it needs to happen in many ways. But at the same time, like I, I hear that side of it. Obviously, you're from here, so you get it. Mm -hmm. But I still feel like it's just really about somebody being serious enough to take that chance to say, you know what? I'm going to write a movie mm -hmm. and we're going to film it to a level. That's what it has to be as well. You know, film it to a level and quality yeah. and 
push this. This is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna do it. Like not a few that, of those. Yeah. Not a few a few on the low. Like there's yeah. push. Push is one. That's one series that, that they started on YouTube doing really well. Yeah. Um, my boy Femi just started Screwface. You know Femi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started Screwface. Um, so like there's a few bubbling here and there. And then you have like directed by Kells, who's done a couple of short films and some movie stuff. And she's about to do feature films mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, but that's the start. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the start. Because in 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 the UK, we're small. Like we're very small as well. You know, we're like come like like yeah. There's there's other cities, but London is like the hub. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, and London is very very small. Yeah, it's very small. But you have so many people just getting up and doing things. So. They they they've been doing this for a while now, like making short movies, making yeah. online series. Like they've been doing it for a while, and now the doors are starting to open a lot more because it's like they're hitting the right places now. Yeah. Like they're seeing, and now online presence is even bigger than ever. Yeah. So it's even like anywhere in the world, like there's online presence. Like they in in Africa, they they like they they they're doing stuff in Africa. Like Africa, there's a lot of African. Um, shows and comedies are going on Netflix and Amazon Prime and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like UK stuff. So it's like Toronto, Canada as a whole, but Toronto where is the hub really is like, yo, guys, they need to have, be having the products now ready to be like, yo, making them connect. Because as I said, we have this, I just had this conversation just before we come here. And I'm like, yo, every, every country, big major country as well, and every major city, they all have their own head of this, the head of Netflix, the head of Amazon, yep. the head of, they're here. But if they're not getting anything, it's like they're going to look elsewhere to bring stuff. But and if you look facts. at those companies here, yeah. because I've been doing brand deals with yeah. them and working them for the, with them for years, every company you could think of, their Canadian support is nada. You look at mm. their Instagrams, their yeah. Twitters, they barely tweet, they barely post, there's yeah. no anything. Like the budget they get very tiny. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if it has to do with the numbers or just a lack of respect that we're just starting it's to probably, gain. It's probably just a lack of... I, I really believe it yeah. is because, like, is it, I think what happened, yeah, and maybe it's just timing as well, mm -hmm. because UK, London, UK, like, like they used to always look to America. Mm, yeah. Like, it's like your seal of approval was America. Oh, yeah. Like, like, and it still happens in certain way, like, you know, you, you have uh, American rapper comes over of a certain level and everybody kissing his ass yep. and stuff like that. And I'm like, brother, like, I thought we went past this stage already. You get me? Like, but they always used to look to America. So it's yeah. like, if you get a feature with an American artist, your boss, it's that's it. Yep. You're the big man now. Early you, 2000s. You, 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 get, you get a comedian come over and say, yo, you're this guy. Yo, he's yep. the funniest guy in England. Yeah. That's what they used to do. But yeah. no, like you said, the scene and the culture is embracing where they like, you have your people who are in the UK, you know, Harry Pinero, you know what I mean? He's big over there. Yeah. Like, he, he might be known as well like, through YouTube outside in, in certain places that like, everybody will have a smaller following than they have at home, but he can just stay in the UK and be good. What do you he think sparked that? I, my personal theory is when Chip started clashing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> when Chip started clashing everybody, that's when I seen people come back. Like, I seen Skepta come back, start yeah, doing crime again. Yeah, yeah. I seen yeah, that was the same time Chip, Storms, yeah. he was bubbling like with the No, Storms has done a lot as well. But but He's I feel I feel like what it is is they have no fully embraced and they're showing mm -hmm. that yo, we can do it without seeking approval from America. Yeah. So so I think what it is 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 when when I hear what you're saying as well, I'm looking at like Toronto as well, it's like cool. They're loving the UK right now. So they, they're feeling like UK is is a, a door for them or yo, if we get in conf, if we get in um cosign over there, it's like with there, your time is coming. It's just no making sure you're ready for that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what it is as well. Make sure you have the products for ready. Sure. So when that door opens and they be like, yo, we wanna have this on our channel. Yeah. Anyone got it, you guys have it. So they don't have to look elsewhere. Yeah. I feel like that's what I'm constantly doing yeah. in my career subconsciously is trying to build the ecosystem mm -hmm. or at least influence the ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. Need. Like I, when I started doing YouTube, that wasn't my goal, but yeah. I noticed afterwards the uptick in yeah, yeah. More, YouTubers more, yeah. and influences in the city. I'm like, yes. And I'm never mad at it. I yeah. always am like, this is what's going to make us better. Yeah, it's more people facts. doing it. You have to. But at the same time, it goes back to what you were saying mm -hmm. because... Yeah, you're, you're saying that um no one wants to be a worker, so it's yeah. like everyone's looking at it. Well, if he's doing that, I can do it. I want to be the man. But you know, it is 
who individuals will stand out always. Always. You have a hundred rappers. So like during the pandemic, how yeah. many people started little Instagram live shows M- millions. and podcasts millions and how many and, of them yeah. are still doing it? Exactly. <laughs> now the world has opened up. How many of them up. started yeah. kept doing it after episode two? Because yeah. there's this rule, I know there's a rule in stand-up where like, say a celebrity comes out mm. as a guest, right? That doesn't do stand-up. Yeah. Say Will Smith comes out yeah. to do a stand-up show. For the first five minutes, he's getting laughs nonstop. Mm-hmm. But after I have five minutes, people start going, all right, I paid money. Like, mm-hmm. get to the actual jokes. jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a five minute rule for everything. Get yeah, on Instagram yeah, yeah. Live, same thing. You go on there and you watch people and you're like, you see after five minutes how difficult it is to sustain a conversation yeah, by yourself. yourself. Yeah, yeah, it is one. It is people one. don't understand it. They look at it and they see people talking they think, oh, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They it's put not... together a podcast now. They don't know they had to edit it. Yeah. Do the levels. Buy this, yeah, buy yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They it's don't crazy. understand I, it until I, they do it. And that's why I kind of like how everybody thinks they're influencer now. Because now, yeah. everybody trying it out and failing and going, giving us the respect that we've been <laughs> needing for 10 plus years it's so true bro so it's true. crazy that now more than ever am I getting more respect yeah, yeah, yeah. for the things that I've been doing doing for a long time for a long time yeah. when they used to laugh at me that's what I'm saying you just have to keep going it's that's crazy what, man your belief you know, is the only thing and your motivation will keep you going you get me and that's why it goes back like for me it's like just having things ready for when the time is Facts. right Always being prepared for that moment. Stay ready so you ain't got to get there. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because the time, yo, we are moving now, things move quick. Yeah, the nukes, so, the nuke can go at any time. Any time. Who just go, bow. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Um, you started on Keek. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if yeah. people even remember, remember Keek. Keek. Keek was b- the first Vine. That's what yeah, I like to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very rough, very yeah, just. yeah. Quick edits, yeah, 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 and just very raw. But like that's what made it so good, good was yeah, that yeah. authenticity. Even on Vine, I noticed when people try to do the professional cameras and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. it would never hit as much as a like grainy, yeah, yeah, dege dege rooms. Just you know what I mean? I like, see, really looks like yeah, yo, they, yeah, exactly, one hundred percent. How was how was did you Keep. see this coming for you? Once you no. talk about longevity and, and having the long term vision, I'll because keep, you were the they, first person yeah. I've ever heard say. I nobody called me funny. Yeah, yeah, you're the first comedian I've ever heard in my life say nobody thought I was funny. Yeah. I just decided to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, that, that's what it is. It's like major, and I say this because it was just accidentally happening to me. Mm. I never planned. It was never in my dream. Never like you know most people who get into comedy and stuff like this because they've been always the guy that that you said the class clown. Class clown, clown yeah, and yeah. And people, I was like, yo, you're funny though. You bust jokes, so you so you automatically have it in your head like, yo, that's my character. Yeah. That's my character. I'm the funny guy. So yeah. when you when you turn up around your friends, automatically you're just like, yo, what am I yeah. saying? Oh, what the hell are you wearing, bro? <laughs> like straight away Turns you're on, on jokes. You yeah. get me? And he's like, ah, oh, man. So you know, it, it, it's one of them ones where for me it wasn't like that, man. It was just. Were you a bully at all? No, I wasn't even a bully, man. Because that's the only other non-funny person no, that becomes like, funny. It's a bully. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was never even a bully, brother. I was just, I was just me, and it like um obviously, you know, I speak about it a couple of times like, but I, I was when I moved from from left from Jamaica and then went to England to live, or I went to England anyway, I went to Peckham. That's where I grew up in mm. the area of Peckham and uh straight away became friends with like um gigs and his brothers and that. So mm. I was already in Involved in like a gang, uh, which you know the gang life. You know what I mean, Peckham boys. That's what we were just called. by association. Yeah, just by that, and then we would just roll every day doing whatever, they like drugs, selling drugs, what all these different things. You know what I mean? And then um, it was it was that was what, what I was doing. You know, end up going um, getting in trouble and stuff like that along the lines. So comedy was never ever on on my radar. Like yo, when I'm abridging them, name silence. We call him silence. Si. Mm. He's hilarious. Mm. Like we, I'm trying to encourage this guy if he go up on stage. We all have those ones. Because I'm like, yo, like <laughs> brother, like if he's here, I'm telling you, you're dying. I'm convinced non-stop. every stand-up comedian has one of those in their crew where the Bro. man, you're like, this guy, if he tried it, he'd be yo, better than me. <laughs> I, 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 and the worst thing is, I, I bring him to enough comedy shows all the time with me. I bring him, I bring to get him, him I bring him, just making him being around yeah. it, bro. And there's comedians that when they're around us, they're dying at him. They're like. Yeah. 
Blood, you're hilarious, but it's getting him to go on stage and it's different. And, uh, yeah, it's it is different. different. It's totally different because I've seen people who who have been the cl- like the funny, I have chat yeah, and all that, and then yeah. they say, "I'm going to do it," and then go on stage and it just doesn't work. Because there's a format, there's a craft, you know what it's I mean? A science. It's, yeah. <laughs> so like I said, back then it was not that man. I just I just accidentally went on keep. It's not even that I went on keep because to um when it came about there was people posting on there and that. Um you had um Lataya Forever was on there yep. at the time. That's where she started yeah. from. So you had a guy um um over in England called Ashley Inks at the time. And it's like was Don't Jealous Me on um, Keek? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, Damson was on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Damson yeah. Idris. Yeah, that's when he was doing the little skits. Yeah, so he with was John on Boyega there. Boyega and those guys exactly. Too. Yeah. yeah, so we that was around them times. Mm-hmm. So when them time it kick off, it's like you you um you had to have an account to watch anything anyway. Oh yeah. So I just made an account, whatever. I didn't even have. That's a, how they get you. Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> have a picture or nothing. I was just on there watching. I was like, yo, start. Just all right, I'm post a t- get top my mind type of thing. And mm-hmm. Then I start giving my views and opinions and things. Then I was like, raw, like people are like they like this. And then I'm like, I'm gonna do two skits on that. But I didn't even know that like, what I was doing, bread. I was like, yo, I'm gonna do a skit. Start doing skits. I'm like, okay. Getting getting so <laughs> yeah. it's like more and more, it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. And then obviously I got verified. I'm like, raw, blue tick on that. I'm like, yo, yeah, what? What that's one? I'm a celebrity. I'm like, I'm a celebrity. Like, yo. Were you so, gassed at that time? Yeah, like, like yo, getting a blue tick was 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 back then, yo, nobody can tell me nothing. Yet, like, <laughs> Facts. Brother, like Facts. back then getting a blue tick on any social any of them. You you're the man. You're a god. Like you're 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 the man. You're looking at other people like yo, you ain't even got blue Especially tick. Especially on your block. There's absolutely nobody that has a blue tick on your block. Brother, and not even that. It's like <laughs> it's almost like when you had a blue tick back then, when you speak, it's almost like yeah, he's certified. Oh, yeah. He's spoken, he's certified. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like look, he commented. That's cer- yeah. I'm certified now. You get Elon me? Like, about to ruin that. Yeah, yeah. You hear so, what Elon's doing? <laughs> no, yeah. You have a tick on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. About to charge you twenty dollars. To have it? To have it. What do you mean? Charge? Which means it means nothing now. So anyone can buy it? Oh, I didn't even have it on there anyway. They're going to charge her yeah. or take it away? Okay, but you can take mine with. I don't have. Honestly, I find yeah. life is better without it on Twitter. No, no, it probably is. <laughs> probably because people with it feel like they're better than you as well on But there, people also look at you as better. Yeah. That's, the, okay. that's my main problem is I can't yeah. make any mistakes because I have a blue check mark. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's verified that right. I'm the person that it says I am. <laughs> like, that's true. That's <laughs> you know what true. I mean? That's true. People are the ones that put the complex on the tick. Yeah, no, it's, that's what I'm saying. So when you, it's like, that's what I'm saying. When you say some people mm. say, yeah, he's verified, so... It has to, it's like you can't say, yo, blue is red and red is blue. Yeah, it's, it's verified. You're gonna have a group of people. Yeah, they, and yeah, they're gonna believe him and I believe him too. Like, so he's why he's born. But <laughs> so when I got verified, it was just, yeah, gas, you know, doing videos. And then it was just the, like people were saying, yo, try stand up. Mm. I feel you'll be good at it. And I'm like, all right, cool. I, I, I started there and it was like, there's no looking back after that man. Went on stage and it was a good performance. Promoter was like, yo, can you come back in two weeks time? I'm like, yeah, cool. Went back. It was a good performance. Called me and said, yo, I need, you can come on this day and that day. And I went back and then I remember I was like, yo, I, what, there, was a, there was a comedian, Slim, mm. a big comedian, King, one of the one of the greats in England. And he he's the one who gave me, um, introduced me to this comedy club because we had a wow. mutual friend. You understand? We had a mutual friend. I didn't even know a comed- he was a comedian. Funny enough, I turned up to my, my friend's yard to get something. And then he was like, oh, you know the Slim the Comedian? I was like, no. And it was just like that. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, this man, I did a video. Then I want to try to do it. I was like, yeah, man, come here, sir. So then I got Slim's number. And then I think I called Slim. I was like, yo, just a quick question, yeah? How many times if we do the show for free before we start getting paid? <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> That's what he said. Yep. He's like, yo, bro, two alone you for do. After that, <laughs> them have to pay. So I do three. He said, like, charge them. <laughs> So, all right, so I was just from then I was getting paid and then it just it just started to grow and grow and then it's like I think one of the greatest things for me is that because I never planned to do this, it's like everything was new. So I'm just learning, learning yeah. as I go along. But also I started the videos and the stand up almost same time mm. because it was almost like three months, four months down the line of doing videos. I jumped onto the stand up. And it was like, yo, I learned how to separate the boat yep. from early. So I realized that what you do here and what you do there, and you, you can you can intertwine yo, them in some way. Be, yeah. yeah, but what you understand is when you go on stage, there's no 
Press editing. play, stop, <laughs> yep. record, rewind, no oh, cut that, chop, yep. hold on. Wait, don't laugh yet. I'm not at the joke. I, I put it, yeah, like, <laughs> you learn it. So I was very um, fortunate in that way. And I feel like that would be a message I would tell to any person who does videos. When you do stand-up, don't look at it the same as a video. You have to go out there with that intention of knowing that this is separate. It's a separate whole different feel yep. to comedy. Yep. You know what I mean? Like when, when Kevin Hart does a movie, you know, like he might have to do a couple takes of that movie for you to laugh. When he goes on stage, he knows he's only got one take to make you laugh. Exactly. You understand? So, yeah, man. That's why it's so terrifying up there, man. He is, bro. It's not <laughs> easy. They, they don't, they, you know, people don't really understand it. Like, got to do it to understand it. Yeah, honestly. like it's, I, I always say it. Like, it's like Molly. I know. I don't know. No, no. It's not like no, 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 no. I don't. I don't know. I can. I cannot. I cannot agree with that I one right there. I can't explain Molly to anybody. Manto, I just. You just gotta experience. See me on our cross, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Molly. Like, I say, you gotta do Molly. Like, man, turn skeng in other players. Papa Molly. <laughs> no man. But he's what I, like. In, in terms of entertainment, mm. our entertainers, us comedians have the most hardest job they as entertainers and they don't they, they, they don't and it's very simple and it's a very simple um, way of putting it you will listen to a, a, a singer a rapper song today just release you will hear it next week sing along to it you know you learn the words because obviously the first couple of days you just start pretending to know the <laughs> words you know what I mean you get used to it you hear it back you hear it so many times till you know the words word for words then you get used to hearing it as soon as you hear the the, the, the first Notes. tone. Yeah. Oh my God, it's my song! Yeah. You get me? You go and watch you, you go and watch the, the the artist perform it live. You sing along to it, love it. You go home, you might hear it again. You still love it. Yeah. You're hearing it again and again and again. You still love it. Do you see the artist again performing? And they're gonna do one of that. They're gonna do that song as 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 many people love it. You continue to love it. We perform a joke to you. You hear the joke, you laugh. You might come back and hear that same joke again and laugh again. But I guarantee you after three, four times, you'll be like, oh, this guy says the same jokes, man. Facts. But you're not know, telling the artist same sing the same song again mm -hmm. and again and again. You understand? So we always have to be coming up with like <laughs> new songs. New songs. <laughs> and especially if, if you're not a, a comedian who who has the opportunity to be able to go to different places. Oh yeah. If you're a comedian that's in just in one place. And you're doing the same club like every same month, circuit. every every two months, every yeah, the same sir. It's like it's more even more pressure now because now you're like, yo, I was here how many times? Uh did yo, I do, you when start I asking at the start of the show, who's been here? Who's seen me before? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I yo, I have done that before. I've yeah. done that a million Brother, times. <laughs> I've done that before where it's like, yo, it's not even say I don't I didn't have more material, it's just that. I weren't in the mood to do new material or something new. I just wanted to go out there. And or you're us. iffy about some material yeah. and you want to provide Fries. these people with the best, best experience. Because you're getting paid. Exactly. You get me? You're getting paid to be there. They paid for a good show. You want to represent yourself. You feel good I've been here before. I'm like, what's going on, Toronto? You're good? Who's wow. seen me before? Hey, who, who came to my last show? Six people go, Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you're going to hear some get shit you heard hits. before. <laughs> get the hits. No fucks. Man, do that. If so, you hear half the arena, then you're like, all right, yeah, cool, yeah, 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 all right, new stuff. <laughs> and it's crazy. I've, I've, I've like, I come, I've been Canada so many times. I've done so, and I, honestly, as much as I try my best, I, I always try my best to bring the new stuff because I'm you like, did some new stuff last night. Yeah, surprise myself as well. <laughs> Especially my first couple of minutes, I was like, yo, I've never. And it did well. It did well. I, I said to camera, so I come up. I said, yo. There was a camera guy said, yo, you record that shit? <laughs> yo. Was that, the first, was that the first time trying some of that stuff? Brother, literally the first... The Five was, minutes or so, right? was all freestyle. Yeah. It was nothing... Nothing was even pre... Because like, then you were like, yo, all right, let me get you guys the yeah, actual because, jokes. Yeah, because I don't know where this can go now. Because <laughs> I got to a bit where like, shit, this could actually just carry on going great or it could die. And I don't want to do that. That's the best for, time to end. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, yo, let me just stop now and do this shit that mm -hmm. I know. And even even when I went into those the jokes that I know, I said them totally different. Mm -hmm. And even again, I'm like, yo, like, like the the barber stuff. I'd never spoke about that before. Mm -hmm. Normally, I go from there the ball head to something different. And he just came to me. I'm I like, love when that happens on stage, bro. bro. And I'm like, yo, it's the greatest. I, I, so when I came off, I said, I said, did you film any? And the guy said, I got some. I said, hold on. And he said, I think I got all of it. I was like. Dog, at least thirty percent of my set last night I've never done before. That's good, bro. Like, Trust me, man. Yeah, and then you just get some stuff. 
top of your brain like I, just, my sets yeah. are like a snowflake for sure like yeah. it's never like it'll be the same words but it's changed Shit. up somehow, oh yeah yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah yeah no no the facts we, we, i i do that quite a lot because i don't write the jokes like i write I just point form or that's, something. that's all i do i'll be like yo we're gonna talk about a microphone all right cool, cool. microphone <laughs> what about it that this yeah. that done exactly, exactly going on stage let me fit, fit stuff around to make it funny you now yeah. yeah i love well. editing too yeah. i love that part of a joke like i hate that first initial feeling of trying out new jokes because the nerves come right back oh, yeah, again yeah, yeah. i was nervous last night oh man. yeah man like, that, you know what that last night mm. i was probably the most nervous i've been for the longest time really yeah and i'll tell you why i'll get i'll tell you why yuck yucks right mm-hmm. um i've always heard about it and it's a very popular spot. Yeah. It's it's iconic, isn't it? Like it's one of them places it's where most like, legendary night. In that's Canadian what I'm saying. History. If you're if you're if you're if you're a comedian, it's one of them places where to have that just to say you've done there is yep. even. It's one of them places. Like when you go like New York, you Zanies go to Carolines, or, or, Carolines or, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's those are the type of things that I want to do as well. Like I have never had the opportunity to do this in England. Mm. You understand? Know because I've never been able to get get on any of their stages like yeah. that. Um, they, it's a different story. But <laughs> this was the first time being in Canada and on a sun on the last Sunday of the month, I actually have no shows on. Finally. So <laughs> I can do it. Yeah. And it's like doing it, I was nervous because that audience is is not the same as an audience that would come to a white yardie show. Facts. That's what it is. Facts. It's like when you have a show and you well, as a comedian, you're the headliner and you say, yo. Come catch me live. You know they watch your videos. They at least rate you. They know they're coming. Like you, mm-hmm. it's almost like you are ready. Yeah, you already have a love from them yeah. already because like yo, this is the guy I came to see. Exactly. You see, when you go watch Kevin Hart, they laugh and clap for his his openers. They do well. They clap. But when he comes, out, he's like, oh shit, everybody just get some Red Bull yeah. or something like <laughs> yeah. energy high. So yeah. we get that. You understand know what I mean? No one expected me to be there. I wasn't even sure who knows me here or who don't the know me there. reception was great, though. Yeah, you understand what I mean? And then you're looking the in the audience, buzzing. bro. And you look in the <laughs> audience and there's there's not just... There's, there's a variety of people. You understand? Yeah. So then it's like, for me, that's why I was so nervous because I'm like... Will they understand it? Will that's they what's my thing. It? You get me? Yeah. And it's like, yo. So when I got up there, but with me, once I get the first laugh, that's, that's always it. my aim. The first 30 seconds in, get the laugh. Yeah. Like I said, I, the joke about yuck yuck, I didn't, it wasn't even a joke. It's just freestyle. Right. But I'm like, I mean, most a hundred comedians have yeah. said this before, man. The name's Yuck Yuck. Mm. Like, who even comes up with that name, bro? But it works. Like, it like works, no, man. but you think about it. Like, man, you say something, yo, I'm going Yuck Yuck. Because <laughs> you know why? Yucky. When it came out, Goofy was a bigger deal than he is okay. now. Okay. And that's how he laughs. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> makes sense. That's though. my guess, anyways. No, that would make more sense. Because that's the only laugh I know that goes like that. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck is the goofy yeah, I never laugh. call it ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> or call it the goofy club or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, could have done so much things. Like, you make it going up there and hearing it called yuck, yuck. You got, that was the elephant in the room. Yeah, no, real talk. Yeah, that's what I first time <laughs> say that. It was the owner. I didn't even know the owner's name. But I, you made it an elephant in the room. Yeah. That's yeah, one yeah. of those rare yeah. moments where the crowd doesn't even notice something's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you pointed it out. Because yeah. usually nobody, I've never heard anybody point it out. Because even after I left, I was like, yo, like, we're just sitting in yuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hearing yuck right now. What's the scene like in the UK for the, the comedy scene? Because especially it's like, growing, man. getting, like, starting out here, for example, I'll be lucky if I get paid more than $20. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, I've been yeah, doing yeah. I've been doing the other stuff for a long time, yeah. and I understand that this is a different arena. Yeah, yeah. So I'm never gonna try to take president over anybody yeah. or any of that stuff. But even the vets, yeah, yeah, some of them that I talk to, it's the same deal. It's like, it. I think it goes back. I don't know if it goes back to a numbers game, but and also stand up comedy. There's not too heavy of a culture for it here, yeah. which is very odd because Montreal is right there, and that and is like big. the yeah. Olympics of comedy is right there. So it's like. It's interesting, but in the UK, is it the same way? It's similar because it's like we again over here. I don't know. Then you can obviously tell me, but with with the UK, like all right, so we have you have two scenes. Mm. That's what you have. You have two scenes. You got the urban scene, which is the black scene. Yep. 
Then you have the mainstream scene, which is the white scene, yeah. which then TV opportunities come along and stuff like that. Now, the problem is, is that being on the urban scene, the black scene, is great. It's, it's not bad. It actually pays. Mm -hmm. The black scene, actually, the promoters pay you money. Mm. They do because they, like, it might, I'm not saying it's like they're going to pay you the greatest, the greatest, yeah. like, depends on your level of who you are, where you are, what you bring Ticket to the table. Prices, yeah, yeah. So they, they will pay, but they pay, they, they, because they put on big, they put on big shows. Mm. Mainstream, they do pay, but they pay small, but then they, they have loads of shows. Like, they will have, like, five shows a week running. Okay. You might might be on tour. You might have a weekend slot, mm. so you might do, be doing a, a a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, we have that. So then they, they, they so they pay you for the each day. Yeah. So you know, you know what I mean. But they like pay small. Yeah, because and the reason why they pay they pay is like that as well. Also because sometimes it depends on their numbers because because of the comedy comedy runs like every day of the week. Yeah. there's not a day you, you're not running. Mainstream has a comedy show every day. Yeah, more than one all over the UK as well. Wow. So. Again, it's like they're not guaranteed that they're going to sell out every night. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They might book out, they might have a, a show running five days a week, and then their numbers go from 100 to 20 to 50 to 200. So it varies. So that's why, again, they can't just say, yo, we're going to pay your X, Y, Z, because they don't even know how much they're making. Obviously, yeah. they're banking and getting a full house. The bar runs good, then they make good money. Yeah. Now, the problem we have in the UK is that comedians on the urban scene, they want to go to the mainstream mm -hmm. because of the opportunities that come from it. Because when you're on that, when you're in the mainstream and doing the circuit, agents come to the shows, TV execs, all these things that they like up. you, and they're like, "Oh, agent takes you up." Now you got an avenue to get on shows, TV yeah. shows, and that bigger. Then you up, then you grow, which is great. The problem is, is that when the comedians go over to that side, they don't come they back forget. to the urban scene. Mm. So the urban scene, the black scene, is dying in the UK. When I'm saying dying, like real talk, it's it's pretty That's much dead, bro. When I say it's dead, even it's... after like seeing Mo Gilligan's success and everything. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. But but listen, big up to Mo, like Mo, big up. Um, no, you're the one that got him started on videos. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I told you, <laughs> you know inspired I mean? him. Yeah, you know, every 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 comedian that's in the UK that's doing well, we have been in certain conversations, and in some way we've all crossed parts in certain mm -hmm. way, man. I remember like me and Mo was having a drive back from um. A gig one night, man, and we were talking. And he's from Peckham at the time. I didn't even know that, you get me? Mm. But, but Mo was a good guy, you get me? Like, he's not a bad person, yeah, you know what I mean? Like and, a good guy. and we just comes in. I was like, yo, bro, you just have to find your niche, man. Whatever works for you, that's what's going to work for you, man. And, um, you know, next thing you know, he's, he's doing the videos and they. Two cans. Yeah, man. He, he did well, man. And big up to him. Like, right? he's doing successful right now. He's, he's done what many comedians would love to do. Yeah. Like he's he's gone clear, bro. Like, but he's he, got to reach back. He yeah, and, and you know what? He he he's been doing um he does the Black British Takeover now, mm -hmm. um which is the big in the big O two, which is twenty thousand people. So he's doing his second one again, and That's um amazing. he he's been he's been putting on comedians, and I, I know he's been putting on a lot and helping him. But the, the, again, it goes back to what I'm saying is like, the crossover is mad because, even so, it's like, the the black audience still ain't getting that because. They're not coming to those shows, or they're not they're not getting that. That's you get me? Thing. That's a, so it's like it's, it's, it's I feel it's like you have odd. to have the balance. Yeah, you it's, know what it's, I mean, it's, we're trying to figure that out here too. I know, especially amongst my peers, I'm just getting into this. Game. Yeah, yeah. So like this arena is new for me, but yeah, even still, we're still having shows where people it's their first time at a show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have black people who, especially with, with black people. When it's a show or anything, they're not expecting it to run on time, so they show up late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know no, what I mean. Fox and like, so they they thinking it's gonna be every other type of black yeah, event where yeah. it just runs at whatever. Some oh, it's Jamaican no, it's event. Real, it'll be real, it'll be a twelve. And, I, like, <laughs> and then they show up. The show's done, and yep. they get mad at you, and you're just yep. like, fam, this is like you have to. There's a certain way that um, I don't know if it's. I, I believe it's probably just time that it will take to condition the audience into knowing how what com comedy etiquette is what concert etiquette is and what party etiquette is because they're all different mad. things you know it's, it's mad because I, I I I promote shows as well and I see this and you know even in the Caribbean I've been going to Caribbean to do a lot of shows as well and it's even worse dude. oh man like like yo the last time I was at a, I, I, did, I went to St. Cries and St. Thomas yeah mm -hmm. And um, the St. Cry show, I was going on stage just before midnight. And I'm on stage doing an hour. 
Oh my god! I'm like, yo. <laughs> uh, so when I went to when I went to Saint Cry, when I went to Saint Thomas, and then the, um, was it outside? <laughs> yeah, that one was outside. Oh. That was outside. Even oh man, but the one in the one in Saint Thomas was inside. It was cool in there. It was nice. It, don't get me wrong, the shows are brilliant yeah. anyway. But it's just the timing of it. And I remember I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a guy living in the UK, so my time mad as well. Yeah. Traveling is all mad. <laughs> But when we do the St. Thomas show, I'm see the lineup and I saw I was on early, like at least, I think I was second on. I was happy. <laughs> Yo, when we say happy, I was happy because even the time I was meant to be on, it wasn't the time I went on because by the time the show starts, it's like, boy, you should be going to your headliner yeah. now. Well, hey, I'm going on. It's so. headliner slot, yep, yep. I went on, brother. I was so <laughs> happy. See what I don't like with it now is I always say like, yo, all right. I, I run it as a joke. I, like we say, oh, comedy doors open, mm -hmm. six thirty showtime, seven thirty. Yeah? yeah, I'm like, yo, when you start switching things, tell them say your doors open twelve o'clock, show start four p.m. Yep, and then they will get there at seven exactly. for the show. But the problem is, you will get the people who still come so, early, yeah. and you feel sorry for them. Yeah. But there's nothing you, you in your heart is saying, hey, I'm sorry, bud. It's either this or that. Or, yeah, I'm hey, sorry, you have to sit here for five stage. hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why couldn't you run late? <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, yeah no, it's, we definitely have to condition the culture into what like stand up is. It's very new, yeah. I understand, to a lot of people. Um, and for the most part, it's been white dominated for so long. No, like, it, in uh, black America, different story. Yeah, They've yeah. had their culture, and that's where it. Basically but they, but again, I think that's why many other people outside always did look to America mm -hmm. for their approval because you're seeing them getting TV, getting this, getting that. Yep. You're thinking, yo, like, why they get they got? But again, you have to think back. Their culture is the black culture is big in America, huge. And you have to understand, you have many different black cultures in it because yep. you have the American black culture, that southern black that, culture, yeah, you got north, you got and, New York. And, and remember, in each city. Mm -hmm. Like yo, they has their own slang, bro, and they're big in their own. Yeah, yeah, people in their own city, big, famous, and do Huge. not even need to leave their city Facts. to go anywhere because Numbers they're good. Again, brother. Yeah, so and uh, building their own as well. You know what I mean? They have a lot that has been built for them. And uh, yeah, they, the generations. Yeah, that came man, them, trust like, me, they, yeah. they they do that. So I feel like jealous what, of that to be honest. Yeah, but but me and me, you know, turn that jealousy and use it to inspire. inspire yeah, and for then sure. focus now on pushing yourself in avenues that. You know what, you're like, even if you say, yo, you know what, I'm going to try this. Mm -hmm. Let me give myself a year, put together certain things, start connecting. Sometimes it's just connecting as well and being in the right place at the right time. Because even when you're saying that like, you've, you've worked with certain platforms and that before and marketing and all this with them, I'm doing adverts or whatever, club, um, it, um, advertising. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, cool. Yo, who do I speak to about this who's that who yeah. who who's what's your because sometimes when i'm in places i'm observing you know what yeah. i mean and i'm having conversation and a word comes up and someone mentions something i'm like right, cool. who's your boss or who you work for yeah so yeah you work but cool i know you you you're you the guy that introduced Does, got yeah. the job but who do you, you work, work for? for because yeah. you know what i mean then you need to know that that's person. person with the actual answer yeah because that's the one <laughs> yeah. because who who you might go with a direct approach something that i tell people as well is like yo it's all good having connects it's better when they do connect. What type of connect? No, yeah, you know that I means like, yeah. yo, we we all in our phone books right now have hundreds of numbers. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. How many numbers in your phone book right now do you, have you called in the last year? Exactly. There's 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 probably more you have not called than you have called. Exactly. Why you have them? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to look through your contacts and look at the connects you have made and say like, you know what? Why do I even have your number? <laughs> well, go on. You remember me? Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah, you know what? I was just thinking, yeah, I have an idea. Yep. What can you do? I'll let you know. And they don't get back to you. Delete. You're not a connect. You're really not a connect. Everything happens on its <laughs> timing for sure. Because definitely, like, man. Especially like thinking back to like when you said you went to go pick up something from your boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you bump into Slim. Yeah. Had you stayed you're like, oh I'm sick or like I can't make it. No, facts. Your whole facts, life facts, would be facts, different. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely, <laughs> you know definitely, I mean? definitely, man. Definitely. That's so wild to me. Like, I love those better butterfly effect moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can go back and look at that one thing that you could have... It was like a fork in the road. Yeah, man. You no, man, I mean? big up Slim. I'm telling you, man, I always give credit to Slim, man, mm. because he, he, he definitely, like... I got to look him up. He's always been somebody who, who as an old school comic, very old school, been doing this for, like, probably, like, 27 years, maybe even more... Mm like legend in England, he should have been further than where he was. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like 
is like Mo has taken things to a different level now. Mo, um, he's signed no Slim has signed to Mo's um agencies as well, like the oh. same they're under the same um Amazing. management and that, which is good. And that's, that's something that I said that I give Mo credit because Mo has got a lot more people like Baba Tunde as well. Like, mm. you know, he's brought through so many and helped them. Dope. But the problem is, is like I think there's there's that still like some need to come back to the black circuit and yeah. and let them see you know what I mean like deal with it. you know what I mean like let, let, let deal with your people yeah. still man because these are the people and then the problem is is that somebody like Slim for me I just feel like he's because he, his opportunity he's, it's taken so long how many years I've been being in the game to get to where he is now now it's almost like he has to try adapt yeah to the mainstream because because yeah. don't get me wrong even the black comics that go from the urban scene to the mainstream. They're not going over there and being who they would be on the black circuit. Exactly. Yeah, They're yeah. going over there and being different. If and you want to broaden your reach. Yeah, and, 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 and that's the thing. And I think like it's, it's, it's adapting. It's a consumer yeah, problem yeah. as well as it is a no, yeah, definitely, definitely. problem. Because yeah. if the consumer was more open-minded, they wouldn't have to do that. And at the same time, yes. entertainers don't necessarily Certainly, have to yeah. do that yeah. to get, garner success. But it's like... But that's why it goes what I'm saying. Comedians have the hardest entertainment job yeah, because man. a rapper will rap. T- he's gonna do his rap. You consumers get with it. Yep. And if you're in a club and you don't listen to rap, you're gonna listen to the beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Move your feet. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. So, so yeah, so we don't have that. It's just our voices, our accent, or whatever you wanna call it, and our thoughts, and we have to put it out and pray for the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. You've man. been in this game for a minute now. And mm. like, I heard you say that, you know, they don't give you the looks on the big stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Do you feel like that's because you're a white Jamaican that they feel like they're going to get some sort of backlash? Mm. Because obviously, on just on your social media, there's people that are questioning you yeah. and all that stuff. So even on a bigger scale, are, are some companies probably hesitant, do you think, to work with you? I, I think, you know. And I've come to this conclusion recently. Chet Hanks does not help either. I'm no, no, I, I know that. That definitely, <laughs> and that's why I don't even entertain when people. Yeah. That's that. That's what it is. I, 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 there's a few to what you just said, mm. right? But I've come with this conclusion recently, and the reason why I came to this conclusion is because I got reached out to be um, featured on a documentary about a white guy that does dance and music. Mm-hmm. And why is does he get so much hate for doing this? Is he not? Can he not do it? And I, and I looked at him. I'm like, why does he even have a documentary? Why is that a documentary? Why am I featured on a documentary? And why is the documentary not about me? <laughs> when this is the real deal? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I looked at it like, you know what? I've realized. That's so weird. I'm not white enough for the for them. But I'm not Jamaican enough mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, really. Yeah. In their eyes, that's all it is. So the people who are running, who, people who have the the yeses and the people who are, can make things happen, that's what it is for them. They're like, mm. but if he was white, we could do things because then he's like a gimmick. Or if he was a hundred percent Jamaican, yeah. then he's a hundred percent Jamaican. Yeah. They need the character. They you don't understand care me? about the person. Brother, that's what it is. It's like, want I, the avatar. That's exactly what it is. Brother, I've I've heard that's conversations insane, where where um where where I've presented TV show ideas. You know what I mean? I have a great TV show idea. Like, I'm telling you, it will go far. Like if this ever gets out, it will do very well. But it's like the conversation was happening, and it's like what I heard from back from the meeting was Questions about they'll be scared because they don't know how the public's gonna receive me. I'm like, what? That is insane. Like, you know, but what it, what, what, what just white person that doesn't have a patch or accent has ever heard that? Bro, but that, that goes back to what I'm saying, like somebody like um what's his name? Chet Chet, Chet Hanks. Hanks. They don't make it even better because it's like that's what people would love for me and, to say I am, mm-hmm. but I'm not. And and I you know and, and to anybody who ever still always want to question it. It's like you have to start looking at it now. It's like if you're following me for how many years, <laughs> if you're just following, waiting for the day like, for that to happen, it's never gonna happen because <laughs> don't don't you have don't you have to think like this, yeah? Surely, yeah, if I was pretending and faking this for so many years, somebody would out Somebody by now, I must have went to school with somebody who didn't like me. 
I must have a bitter ex out there who see me having success and be like, no, he's not deserving that. I'm going to expose him. <laughs> this was me and him, age 15, 16, in a country, in a little country area in England. He was born in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't you think that would happen by now? Exactly. Like, how come it's not happened? People want an excuse to discredit you because they yeah, don't man. see them. They see in you what they want for themselves mm -hmm. sometimes. I, I notice that's where a lot of it comes from. Most of the hate stuff that I see generated mm -hmm. towards me at all, like I just feel sorry for them. Yeah, I, yeah, honestly, yeah. I've got... Before, I used to be like, yo, the fuck? Yeah. Apply yeah. And who the fuck you think you are? Now I just look at you because I'm like, there's been times where I wasn't making money and things were tough and I was that person in different ways. I'm not yeah, a yeah, comment yeah. banger or anything like no, that. No, no, but you used to, But I'm yeah, that yeah. person in different ways in terms of letting out my misery yeah, onto yeah, other yeah. people and making sure other people are feeling what I'm feeling mm -hmm. because I don't want to feel alone in this misery. Yeah, and I'm yeah, the only yeah, one yeah, failing. Yeah. So now I look at them and then when I got to a place where I was making some money mm. and I didn't have any of those feelings. I didn't feel the need to yeah, yeah, respond. Yeah. I didn't feel the need to do any of this stuff yeah, because yeah. I'm like, I'm handling my stuff. I know what I, who I am. Like, I know what I do. Brother, I don't need it, to it respond to shit. It. Like, bro, like, me used to, same thing, me used to, like, early on in my career when I'm doing it, I used to get back at people as well. Like, when they message or, or comment, I'll comment back. Like, chat back to me, like, mm -hmm. rare, rare, me, back out, whatever. I realize that the energy is not needed to give to them, man. Like, you, you have so much more love than you have hate. And then if you're only penetrated, or why for that? If you're, yeah. only, if you're only concentrating on the hate, what does that tell the people that show you love? Exactly. That you don't care about love. You exactly. only want to concentrate on that. So that's why I stopped. And I, I used to even block people as well. Like, I see the comment, I block them. But then even that, I was like, yo, by me blocking... You know that I seen your comment as well, some sort and of, you feel yeah. yeah, like I've given you some attention. So it's got to me. So maybe so now I leave them. Mm -hmm. Continue to watch my Just life. Thing, yeah. Enjoy. It's yeah. free. Hello. Keep watching. I the want success. my I want my hitters to see. Me. Of course, like, you do. I, I find success in uh, doing something that's gonna be shown to millions of people <laughs> or thousands of people. I mean, like, oh, that person's got to see it. This person's gonna have to see it. This person's gonna have no, to see but, it. I love. Yeah, that. no, we we do because. It, it just shows you that every time you try to stop me, it never happened. And and to be honest, the more negativity just keeps going, keep me going, isn't it? Like, yeah, cool. Had people say, oh, oh, you always do this, you always do that, how oh, you not talk about this. And I'm like, when I do the stuff, you're not, you don't even, you don't, you're not you're here. You're not there. So it's like, what? You only want to pop up. People will wait for you to make one little thing. When you're down. And then they will say something just based on that one thing. But they will, they will look up us. Every other thing, they, people are watching. You yep. and waiting for something <laughs> just for them to have something to say. I love it. I, yeah. I started a clubhouse room mm. during the pandemic called Is Kevin Hart Still Funny? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This thing went stupid. Broke yeah. clubhouse. Oh my. App broke 5,000 plus people in the room. The next day they had to update it to allow 5,000 plus people to be. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so crazy. Kevin Hart had come in oh, yeah? like half an hour into the conversation and it's me and like probably like 20 other comedians and like certain just random people. And we're talking about it. And he comes in the room and he starts talking to us about it. And okay. he starts defending himself, and which I feel like he didn't need to do. But yeah. regardless, I'm the, he's a human being. You know, you see your name. Plus at the time, I, like I, took, I put two and two together pretty quick. He had just invested in Clubhouse. So I'm like, all right, him being in here, he knows people are going to see he's in here and it's going to garner attention. But I didn't think it was going to go where it went. I was on my way to work, put the phone down, wasn't paying attention to it. Finished doing my scripts, came back, looked at my phone, 5,000 plus people in the room. Mm. People are arguing, left, right, and center. Arguing, mm. just yelling. Kevin Hart's arguing with people and, and defending himself. And it just, I, I had to leave the room. I'd leave it again because I had to go back to work. Yeah. Come back again. I come online. Oh, Marlon's so irresponsible. How could you allow that to happen to the black woman in there? Blah blah blah. And I'm like, what? What are you got? What are you guys talking about? Like I had no idea what had happened. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I left somebody else as the Monitor, moderator. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm seeing certain people that have followed me for a long time. Don't really like you know the people who like will retweet you only to like critique something you said yeah, 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 or yeah, point yeah. out at something that was yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then or like they just don't say anything to you at all. And then all of a sudden, 
that day, it just all, you see person after person, oh, yeah, I don't know why you guys thought that that guy would blah, blah, blah. And this, it, it, was, it was so wild, but very eye-opening and very like, I don't, I don't invest that much into people who are not my friends anyways. Yeah. Because I don't know you like that. Yeah. But it still was like one of those reaffirming things that like not everybody's rooting for you to win. Man. No, no, bro. People do oh, not 1 million percent, like man. That's facts. I saw Brother Nature get a Porsche. The next week he got beat up in a, in a sandwich shop and they haven't let that nigga live it down since. Okay? So the, the people he, Brother Nature down. feeds deers. Yeah. He feeds deers. The, you can find something wrong with a nigga that feeds theirs in his backyard. You can find anything wrong. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, people don't want you to win, innit? That's what it's. Our people don't want you to feel like, you, like don't want you to feel like they're doing better than them, innit? That's what it is. Yeah, as well, you know, it's like you have. It goes back to even other things like you get people who you might know for you, uh, you know you you knew, but you don't see them as much. Yeah, because of whatever reasons, like your past is just different. Yeah. yeah, like you know, but. But it's like you and all of a sudden are doing very well and they just pop out of nowhere. Like, yo, you're changed, dog. Like, what? What do you mean me change? Like, I, I've just been doing me. I've got different levels. Progressing is changing. You just didn't change. You get me? Is no, but you have some people like, <laughs> yo, you have some people hit you up like, yo, can't believe you saw your deal with me. I mean, I think to myself, yo, like during the whole lockdown, you never even reach out to me and say, if I'm good. So how no, I saw me deal with you. I mean, I deal with you now, yeah? I'm doing me. But people are looking for that without you even giving it yeah. to them. You know what I mean? Because they're expecting that. Sometimes people will try to get ahead of it. Before mm. you can spite them, they want to spite mm. you back. Mm -mm -mm. Right? So it's like, I see that. And like, even just evolving as a as a brand or as a business, yeah. people will look at you like you're doing something to them. Like, you, got, you get a manager now. So you're not mm -hmm. handling your rates. Mm -hmm. But a man that always used to hit you up and ask you for your yeah, rates yeah, yeah. hits you up again. You're like, yo, talk to blah, blah, because I don't really handle my rates. Yeah, anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's how you're dealing with me? That makes me feel Your manager like, now? Yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah, I can't, we can't yeah. just. It's and true. it's just like, fam, like, people. are we not going to evolve? Are we not no, going to build No, they don't things? want that. They want you to be on their same level, man. They say, but back to um, something you said, um, the Kevin Hart thing, yeah? Yeah. Why you even create that room? <laughs> I created the room because he dropped that special during the pandemic. Oh, yeah, the one in his front in room. In his living yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had done one before that, even yeah, that I was know. a stadium the, um, thing. What, no? And I hated it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a big Kevin Hart fan. Yeah, likewise, like, likewise. Like, I'm not a fan of the movies, per se. Yeah. But stand-up, big Kevin Hart fan. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I loved his early stuff. The first two, yeah. Laugh of My Pain, and the other one was Shaq and Let him. me explain as well. Yo, the man, yeah, yeah. I was like, this guy's going to be the next Eddie Murphy, bro. Which Ir no, he kind of is. Ir irresponsible, wasn't it? Irresponsible? There was three. There was three. There was the Laugh of My Pain. There was uh, Let Me Explain. Yeah. And then there was the arena one, the first arena one where he's talking about his dad and the... The thing hanging down. That yeah. was the first. Uh, I can't remember what that one was called. I think it might have been. He had. I swear he had did. Why do I feel like irresponsible was one? It might have been that one. I know he had what? No, because I I think I seen him like. I seen the new. He was one just in Toronto well. last night. Yeah, I saw that one as well. Mm. Um, I saw that one. I heard he's back in rare form. Yeah. Somebody told me he's not trying to be censored or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, nah, it, it was good. It was good. Um, yeah, it was. It actually was better than. The last one and the last one. But see, that's why I, I went. Asked I went to see. I went. I went to watch his last one that he did. I think it was what? No, was his last mm -hmm. one then? It was irres irresponsible, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I. I feel like it was irresponsible. I, I have to check anyway. But that last one, he did. Um, not the COVID one. I felt that way as well because I'm a huge Kevin Hart fan. I was very disappointed. I was disappointed. It felt I, I rushed. Left and I was like. Yeah, this this it felt rushed because I now I'm doing stand up, so I'm yeah. like I can tell when it's not fully yeah, polished yeah. or or you didn't breathe out enough with it. Yeah, and I um so and plus we're a pandemic, yeah. fucking bored. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? no, like, no, you bring. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a conversation, so, and so I want to have a comic he, he conversation. He never invited you to the shows when you was in Toronto. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, He'd be like come see he me. He just talked funny. about it again yeah. on a podcast not too long ago, and I, like this is a thing. Is the room itself got so volatile and toxic that now I'm just associated with that? When the original mm. conversation, it wasn't even is he still funny? Mm. It was is he still funny in the current climate that he has to yeah, be in yeah. as a businessman? 
Is there a way that he can still deliver the Kevin Hart we know and love yeah. as Kevin Hart no. the brand now you because know, he's a family it, it guy? It goes to this. It goes what you're saying is right, but mm. it goes to this. These days, nowadays, bro, like you, we could sit here for a whole hour, do a whole talk, whatever. If there's one clip somebody can take from this to and make twist it, it, yep, like make it look yo like we are killed somebody exactly. in some way. Like even what we just said now. They, they run with that. This is exactly and, what happened. And then the majority <laughs> of the public will only watch a minute clip That's instead what of watching the whole stuff. People put it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Some, you know, you weren't allowed to screen record yeah, in yeah, Clubhouse, yeah. but someone screen recorded and put but, one uh, minute Yeah, that's all they on do. YouTube. That's all they do, bro. So, <laughs> so you get me like, this, this is the world we live in, man. It's but, crazy. Um, yeah, but yeah. Hey, man, but you're still flourishing. You about Thank to you, go man. on tour, yeah. about to kill it. Um, you just did an amazing show in Toronto. You have Thank to have you. the most legendary show in Canadian yeah, history. Yeah, yeah, I'm with happy Kenny about Robinson, that one. he gave you your stamp of approval. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. Man, you're certified Toronto man now. <laughs> yeah, more time, B. <laughs> yeah, respect. Tell, tell the people where they can find you. Yo, you don't know it's White Yardy um, on all platforms. Instagram is W Yardy, so it's W Y A R D I E. And yeah, man, big up, um, you know, going on the Canadian tour now. Looking forward to it, man. Yeah, it's going to be live, you know what I mean? We're doing, how many, I can't remember how many dates. It's like 14, 15 Jeez. shows. You know, majority of them sold out as That's well. So. exposure. Yeah, man, definitely, man. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, Can't yeah, wait, man. Make sure you guys look out for yeah. tickets on Juice Comedy. No, um, no, whiteyardy.com. And whiteyardy.com. No, it's on whiteyardy.com. It's not on Juice at all. Just go white. Yachty, <laughs> just go white yachty. Yeah, yeah. Make it make it more simpler. You know yeah, what I mean? Google AdSense, the white yeah, yachty. Yeah. Make sure you guys check it out. Uh Canadian tour comes soon. Obviously, check them out on all socials. Yeah. And uh my name's Marlon. That was the extra gravy. Pop, pop.